welcome to Homestead Tessie's Mobile Home Living. Sit back, drink a cup of coffee, and experience a slower pace of life. You find me feeling this morning in a very reflective mood. As I'm working on my chores today, I thought I would just share with you all the things that I'm thinking about. It seems like the older we get, the more that we want to have peace and quiet in our life. It seems like we are more happier with staying at home and enjoying the quietness. My thoughts go back to so much. My thoughts go back to my mom's favorite flower, and that was a lilac, and why I planted it. My mother hasn't uttered a word in so many years, I almost forget what her voice sounds like. And every day, as my lilacs are blooming, I take one giant whiff of that beautiful scent for in memory of my mom. Now, my mother is very much alive, but she's in the last stages of dementia. For so many years, I've been saying that now. But yet I try to keep her happiness and memory alive, even though she cannot speak and doesn't seem to know at all about the world around her. I think a lot about these things and I wonder what my mom would say to me today if I would ask her, Mom, what's something that you could change about your way of living and your life? What's something that you could tell me? See, my mother was the kind of woman, she was a perfectionist, and she always sweated the small stuff. I think she would tell me, Tessie, don't sweat the small stuff. Save it for the big things in life. See, I'm a lot like my mother. I do sweat the small things in life. Although the older I get, the more I'm changing in my personality, and I really am not worried as much about the small things in life. It's a constant reminder to me, though, that life is short. We need to live it. Live it today because nobody's promised tomorrow. You know, for me, the biggest memories that I hold are my mother baking in the kitchen. My mother always had the Christian radio station on. My mother always was home when I got home from school. My world revolved around my mother and father because they were older when they adopted me and it was just the three of us basically that I remember. And I remember all these things and all of my memories of the happiness that I have is the slow paced life. It's the so slow paced life of my family. I remember my, see my daddy was a mobile home salesman and they had big mobile home parks and they were retirement villages. And my dad sold all his own mobile homes and I would go with him to Sealands Grove and that was a couple hours away. That was far away to me. And those are my fondest memories of going along with my dad far away to pick up supplies for the mobile home. And every single week was trash day and we would take our truck and we would go in the mobile home parks and collect people's trash and take them to the landfill. My daddy kept a immaculate mobile home park. <laughs> it's beautiful even to this day. But I thought a lot about all the memories that I have of my parents and all the memories I have as a young mom. Those memories are of the just simple everyday things that I did with my children. My children didn't have expensive toys. My children had great imagination. Boy, I wonder where they get that from. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I do have a wild imagination and I'm very good at entertaining myself and I think you can see that in my videos that I seem to always be busy in coming up with something. So why am I doing all of this and I'm telling you all of this for now? Well, there's something I want to share with you. I've taken a lot of thought and a lot of prayer and I'm really excited about a, just a little bit of a different chapter in my life and I realize that in life we do have to face some changes and 
my YouTube channel is absolutely amazing and it will continue to be that way before you start thinking I'm ending my channel oh no I would never ever do that and I promise the Lord as long as he gives me breath and a platform I will share about him and my life until I no longer can share but I am going to slow my life down just a little bit and I'm going to have quality videos maybe not quite so much quantity of them I am going to continue to have my videos but I'm going to skip one day of the week and that is Sunday I will have my heart to hearts oh don't worry about that I would never end my heart to hearts and but my heart to hearts are going to be a little bit different which I will be sharing with you in the next video but I wanted to just share with you just some thoughts of mine. I humbly want to take this moment and thank you all so much for your constant support. I know I ask a lot by having so many videos and that's just how it is. I think I have so many videos. A lot of times I think that people just get so overwhelmed with my videos that they kind of get lost in the shuffle. And I'm thinking that if I have a Sunday off, maybe on a Sunday people will watch some videos they missed that week. Or maybe not. Maybe it just gives them a break from me as well. So there's not going to be a Sunday video this week. And I think you'll understand why. Just taking a little break one day a week and focus on the beginning of the week. And I think that you will enjoy a a different aspect of my life. I have a lot of ideas. I have countless ideas for videos. That's not an issue with me. But I'm thinking about maybe giving people a little bit of break from seeing me so much. You know, I couldn't ask for a better group of people that watch my videos. I couldn't ask for anybody better. You guys are the most amazing, loyal followers that anybody could ever wish for. You guys are the most encouraging, the most kind, the most loving, the most accepting people I have ever, ever met in my whole entire life. You love unconditionally and the vast majority of you who watch my videos that comment are this way. All of your comments have always been kind to me, you've always uplifted me, you've always treated me as if you wanted to be treated. And I am just so deeply humbled. I'm just so deeply in awe of how the Lord has brought you all into my life. And I can't wait to continue this journey. You know, this journey for me has just begun. And I'm just really excited about it. And I'm excited about what I feel that I need to do. My husband came home from work and I sat down with him and I said, I just got to share something with you. I just said I really feel like the Lord is really speaking to me about some things on my channel and just directions and just thoughts of, of my channel. I want to get back into reading the Bible more. I, I haven't been reading it like I should. And like I told you in previous videos, I just feel a need and a calling to be different, have a different approach to my videos right now. Now those of you who followed me, you know, a long time know I've done this quite a few times. You know, I've made changes quite a bit in my channel, just different thoughts and different directions or, you know, different things. And we will always be making ch changes in our lives. I mean, that's part of living. It's always adapting. And that's what you have to do. You have to adapt. And, you know, my changes aren't changes that you guys are going to all see, but it's changes of my heart. You know, it's changes of my perspective and my heart and just my motivation for making videos. It's the changes of, you know, all the expectations I put on myself. You know, those changes that I put on myself. These are all internal things. And I'm realizing that I don't need to try to compete. I don't need to try to achieve a certain goal. I just need to be me. And these are changes that are amazing just me personally. So what you're going to see is my everyday life. And I'm going to do a lot of teaching through seeing. You're going to see me do things and through that I'm going to be teaching you. 
You're going to see a video for six days of the week. My favorite all-time Bible scripture is Philippians 4, 11 through 13. I'm not saying this because I'm in need, for I have learned to be content in whatever the circumstances. I know what it's like to be in need, and I know what it's like to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. And I can honestly tell you that I love the life that I'm living now. I'm in full peace and content, and I would never take back my old life, not for a million years.